and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Control. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching Game Seven of the World Series tonight for sure. Uh, sorry about, that, but <laughs> sorry back back to y'all. Um, yeah, we got we got a pretty good another uh, donation deck here. We got another control deck. It's it's control day over on the stream before our 12 hour Halloween stream uh, tomorrow. Um, so yeah, today we got um, Esper Control. This is a deck that that the Ripper who donated has been playing quite a bit, and the list looks pretty nice. We got you know a bunch of good interaction that Esper is famous for. A lot of instant speed stuff. Three main deck Noxious Grass, because that card's just really powerful right now. We saw it it was quite good in our anti-green deck. You know, we got counter magic with a veto and a sabotage. Um, we got discard, we got other removal with Tyrant Scorn, Murderous Rider, Oath of Kaya, all of those. Um, you know, Chemistry's Insights help us going. And then we got our, our top end. So Realm Cloak Giant's just like our fifth sweeper, basically, you know, right? So we got five sweepers in here, which I like that. And then our, our six drops, our, our win cons. We got Ugin, uh, of course, is incredible. Lockmere Serpent and Dovin Architect of Law. So we'll talk about these ones. So Dovin Architect of Law is like our Teferi replacement, right? Because Teferi at five mana was always tick up, draw a card. And... That's what, and uh, we saw that like with whenever I played Demir earlier, like Jace was really important with that. Like these control decks just don't have like the steady stream of card advantage every turn um, that that they had bef before um, Teferi got. Uh, um, hey, what's up, John? Thank you so much for the sub there. I appreciate that, John. Um, Oh, that's 23. I was behind one. And... Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, so we, we've been missing the, the steady, steady stream of card advantage with the tick-up um, that we had like before, um, before Teferi left the format. And so that's what Dovin provides us. Now, we don't get to untap the two lands, which, of course, um, untapping the two lands was... Um, was of course really powerful of giving us extra mana to be able to spend like where we could play to fairy untap our lands and then have protection like a Dovin's veto something like that up but instead we get to we get to uh, gain two life so you know two life you know especially gain two life one turn then two life the next turn two life the next turn like that adds up um, quite a bit especially for Esper decks that are trying to stabilize so that that two life actually really helps the minus one's not not too bad. Uh, it's not like hard removal, but it's just, you know, removal for something for a turn. And then the minus nine is basically time walk. Um, so that's so that's like one, that's a card advantage engine there. And then we have Lock Mirror Serpent as like a finisher. Um, six mana, seven, seven flash. This is a card that I haven't played with too much. And so I'm, I don't even know if I have played the card at all. I've played against it some, but I don't know if I've played the card at all. Um... But yeah, so like that that hopefully eats a creature whenever we get to play it. You know, so hopefully it's like a six mana removal spell as it as it comes in when my opponent attacks into it, and then you know it has the abilities. We get to sacrifice swamps to to get extra cards. Um, we can make it unblockable by sacrificing islands, but usually just attacking it if they're just chump blocking, that's not the worst thing for us anyway. And uh, then of course it has the recursive ability as well. So we'll see. We'll see if like these two cards are just be are better than Liliana's, or, or maybe like if if we're not impressed with with these cards, maybe they should be replaced by Liliana's. We'll we'll kind of see that. But all right, here we go. The strongest part of the Lockmere Serpent is the black, the black sacrifice the swamp draw card. I could definitely see that. And here we go, Esper Control. Nope, I did I didn't kitty.
Okay. Well, Kai's Wrath is awesome. And just trying to, you know, we'll use our temple. Like, we're on the draw. So if we could draw lands, use our temple, look for lands. Just kind of set up turn four, Kai's Wrath. Nothing wrong with that. I'll take the two mana removal spell. Gutter Bones, of course, is going to be a problem to deal with. With it being able to keep coming back. Lockmere Serpent could exile it from the graveyard if it's in the graveyard. I can no longer stand by it. Nothing. So we can have instant speed Kai's Wrath next turn. This is hardly no, nope, maybe not. Taken out by Hawkeye. All right, so I'll have so I have this this two three to block, where I can also bounce it with Tyrant Scorn as well. I guess now I'm kind of pressured into just killing this Knight of the Ebon Legion, though. Um, I'm kind of going down a little low on life total here. So my main plan is to be able to have Tyrant Scorn with Sensor Sabotage as well. So like they attack with Knight, I block with Rider, they pump Knight, I Scorn Knight. And if any, any of that goes wrong, we have a counter spell as well. If yeah, as if you are logged in to find decks that you previously saved on Goldfish, go to the Tools tab, go to Tools, and then My Decks. If you are logged in, it's possible I should just be bouncing the Rider as we talked about, and then I just untap Kaya's Wrath. So if I don't attack with Rider, they don't attack with Gutter Bones. And then I'm still at 10 life, you know, like it doesn't change. So I might as well just stay at 10 life, but then also make them lose 2 life. Perfect. All right. Thanks. Thanks so much there, Brett. So yeah, I'll, I'll lead off the stream with your deck tomorrow. I'm assuming my opponent's a two-color deck. It's like maybe like red-black. 
you know, it's obviously black, but maybe black red. Because like if they they just weren't doing very much at all, and just kind of conceded, they have to be more than one color. And so if they're black aggro and they're more than one color, it's probably red as well. Um, either way, these noxious graphs go out. Uh, legions end in. I kind of wish we had a little bit more for aggro here. We did, we just don't have any any anti aggro cards. I'm not sure about these disparks. Looks like I'm playing Narset. Um, it is, yeah, we are playing five Rass and we got Othakai. I was like, we already have a, a good amount of stuff, I suppose. Um, we'll just play an extra Veto, actually. Let's just do that. We'll play an extra Veto. The seven CMC spell is Realm Cloaked Giant. It's, it's really, it's a five mana destroy all creatures. That's really what it is. All right, good mana. Dress. Oh, dress, dress bugs strikes again. They choose thought erasure. That means I automatically draw thought erasure. Okay, they are red, black. Called that. You want to look into control for a bit, Radical Guru? Um, I haven't found... Huh. To be honest, I haven't found like a, a specific control deck that I just absolutely love. I'd have to say that my favorite one that I've played, honestly, recently is maybe that Demir anti-green deck that we just played. That's honestly... That's honestly been my favorite control deck that I've played in, in the last week or two. I want to bounce that thing. If I just swift end the butcher I go down to eight. I want to swift end the spawn of mayhem. That's the card I want to kill. You know, so they, they replay Dreadhorde Butcher, kill Teferi. Sure. We now I have a 2-3, though, that matches up well against these things.
I have six mana, but I cannot cast both halves of Rider. I can only get one half. I do the lifelink part. Any thoughts on Ardenvale versus second Lock Twain? I mean, I guess. Um, I mean, it depends on like the different colors of mana. I I really like Ardenvale. Making one ones. It's not the Ardenvale is not for the Cavalcade matchup. I mean, the 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 Ardenvale is really just for staying for staying alive. Making one ones. It's it's a just a good win condition against other control decks. You, even like late game, you make one ones and everything. It's you know it's a good chump blocker. Yeah, I think Narset would be better than, than the clocks. Yeah, in the, the prison deck we just played, yeah, I would recommend the, the Narsets instead. The power of two, three lifelinkers. The power of two, three lifelinkers. Thanks, Zythan. GG's. Hey, VYN. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so our our last opponent just came in here and said that they accidentally like submitted the, their deck incorrectly. They accidentally submitted 20 swamps in their deck. And so that's why like that game one was really messed up. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry, VYN. But GG's. Um, can you craft the card styles you get as a season reward? Like, you can... So, yeah, as a season reward, you get card styles. You have to have the card to be able to use the card style. You're allowed to craft the cards. Um, you cannot... Oh, you can... Besides getting... Like, getting the, the card style as a season reward is the only way to acquire it, though. I don't believe you can purchase them. Maybe later on in, in other months afterwards, you can go back and purchase them. I'm not Trust me. You'll thank me sure later. about that. Don't worry. I got this. All right, well, obviously we need black mana. No, I am not making this up as I go. No, the the seasons uh each season is like a month, you know, like it's just like October is a season. November is a season and so on. So the seasons are, are month by month. The uh, mastery pass is by set. So like the, the mastery uh, system you know, started with Let's try this. this set coming out. And it's going to continue until the next set comes out. I suppose that's how and then there'll be a new mastery system like so there's like the throne of eldraine this mastery system and, then, and so on and then the next one will be like a theros one you think fires is the worst matchup for the deck i know any keep an open mind yeah we'll see how it goes I'm 
excellent timing. I've got it. Trust me, I have a plan. I must train harder. Okay. That's awesome, Rackle Guru. Good job. Tweaked Orzhov value for best of one and had good success with it. That's awesome. Oh, you realize it while it's sideboarding. So, oh, you had 72 cards in your deck, and that's why it was just 20 swamps in there. Darn. Who are you to call me? I summon you. Now what? I've got time. The dragon does not lose. This has not been, we have not been drawing well, that's for sure. Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality, meditate and prepare. Here we go. None of my cards do anything with Teferi and Narset in play. They just don't, they don't do anything. I don't get to draw cards with Teferi. I can't counter anything. These Kaiser Aths are useless. I'm already down to seven. I mean, I guess I'm going to play these Disenchants. I, I don't think the Disenchant is a very good sideboard card, though. All right, so 65. So Noxious Grasp just kills Teferi. Because they could kill like that Kenrith that they played. Maybe Lockmere Serpent's difficult for them to deal with. Yeah, Ashok just kind of tries to, to thin their deck and make it more difficult for them to kill us, but it's not it's not reliable. That's a good point that... Um, Lockmere and Command, both of those are worse with Ashiok. I like Othakaya a lot here because, as we saw, Teferi and Narset are both devastating, and Othakaya kills both Teferi and Narset, and it's, it's a removal spell we can pick back up also for those. Um, so I like, I like Othakaya a lot.
I do think it's possible that Unmored Ego is better now in this metagame than than Ashiok is. You know, having like an un Unmored Ego to be able to name like Fae of Wishes. Another black source. It's okay. Come on. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. Uh So of course I was going to be able to hold up sabotage and have insight. But now we can't That's play instance like anymore. And we're in loads of trouble now. Yeah, Island cannot cast Kaya's Wrath. I don't I don't love Island in Kaya's Wrath deck. There's just one in here though. Which you know you kinda need one with Fabled Passage. I want to save the Teferi for after they play Sarkin. If they go, if they go Sarkin minus, they make a four-four. I want to be able to bounce the four-four. Don't worry, I got this. They, they obviously they could just go Sarkin plus to kill Narset though. We'll see. That's a fairy draw step was a killer. I could have just not thought erasured and just held up sabotage and just done nothing else but hold up sabotage. I mean, Let us fight. looking back at it, Mighty that's certainly what I should have done power. to protect against top tech to fairy. I, I really should have seen company. that coming. Let's try this. Best case scenario for me I will darn, the was that they would minus. Probably should have discarded Sabotage instead of Veto. I, I went with discarding Veto because I knew about it. But as far as mana goes, I probably should have gone the other way. Behold! I am not going 
going to sit this one out. I've got it. At least they didn't auto tap well. Look to the skies. This no. is hardly my worst feat. This has been frustrating. So yeah, I could have shocked in and been able to counter that last turn, but of course our life total is very low. It's a it's a it's a resource we don't have very much of right now. Are you ready? Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Alright, we gotta find something for this Arkan. But we've kinda come out of this pretty well. Um I guess yeah, it's it's hard for me to, to suggest just like one one specific deck. Stop having every Teferi in your deck. Um, Come to me. I guess. No, it didn't end up playing the Soul Tide Control deck. If you if you want to find the the Soul Tide Control list, it's there. Um, so yeah, Peak, I kind of recommend just going to the YouTube channel there, is I, I played so many different decks, and basically see if there's anything that, that kind of catches your eye. I have different playlists. I have a playlist on the YouTube channel, you know, so you can go like, the, you see all the videos, but I have a playlist of like my favorite leagues, so like, so like those are all decks that, that I really enjoyed playing and stuff. Um... And so maybe, maybe if you want to go through there and see like some of my favorite decks. They are coming. So yeah, ho hopefully that helps with a lot of stuff to peruse, whatever, whatever you enjoy playing. Now that's a draw step. I was gonna be able to gain two life with Murderous Rider, so I wasn't dead immediately. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. There is no peace in defeat. All right, I'm gonna keep this one one back because of Kenrith. The one damage isn't super impactful, but I want to keep it back, just in case of like Kenrith plus counterspell on their side. Yeah, that Ugin was a great, great to draw. No, thank you. Truth lies. 
lies beyond vision. So one mana short of draw to fairy with castle, play to fairy, and still have sabotage available. <clears throat> if I was gonna play the Mythic Championship, what deck would you play? I would, I would probably play like a, a Sultai Oko deck with something you know with as much money as a Mythic Championship on the line. He doesn't have trample, right? I'm just going to be able to bounce that thing with Teferi. Oh, it does have trample? I guess it does. Trample and haste. My bad. I thought that thing just gave it haste, not trample and haste. My bad. I don't really regret not countering it too much. It's this fine. isn't a fight you can win. I mean... I don't, yeah, y'all gave me a punt for that. I mean, I wouldn't really change. Even now, knowing that that thing has trample, I don't think I would change my play. I don't I don't think I want to use my really valuable counter spell on that thing. And there's a lot of ways I can deal with it. I don't want them to, like, counter that, and then they planar cleansing. Here we go. The punt was wasting the one one. It's a it's a one one, whatever. Hey, look, that one one would have dealt one damage and died. I've got time. Only left with <clears throat> only left me with one blue mana. That's okay. All right, now Dovin, pull ahead for us. Feel the heat of my flames. Well, they, they may not have Teferi minus. My opponent has definitely made it clear they like Teferi, Teferi minusing, but that doesn't mean that they were going to definitely Teferi minus. No! 
I am not making this up as I go. A dragon would rather die than lose. I, I wouldn't really want to do either. Can we get some more options up in here? I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. I have just the trick for this. Ugh. With a dragon's rage. Come to me. Sorry, I was kind of looking at chat whenever they played the Narset, and I didn't really realize the whole Narset. Chemistry's insight. So I should have drawn. Trust me, I have a plan. Before that. Come on. I know I could sack a land, make it unblockable, but I'm getting rid of that thing anyway. Don't really need to sacrifice the land. All right. So all Grasp does is kill Teferi, but killing Teferi is very valuable. Hmm. Uh, no, the... Wait, you're saying that the Dovin that prevents damage, the so Dovin hand control can target Chandra six and prevent the upkeep, the upkeep damage from the emblems. The emblems are are Chandra doing damage. That doesn't that doesn't seem right. I can't really say that's not right, but it just doesn't seem right. Really want to play those grass, but I just don't see anything I really can play it in. Yeah, that's what I would think. I, I wouldn't think that 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 could be correct. To stop the emblem damage. But yeah, it could, it could prevent the other damage. Did I have a water? There it is. I put it on the ground, I guess. <clears throat> Tough call here. Everything looks pretty nice. I guess we'll get rid of this disenchant. You know, that just kills the four cards in their deck. Even though it's like you know, one of the most important cards. But it's just not a not a great chance that they have one of those four. So yeah, you can go to Basically, either of those, either of those links, there, Angel, to find the Demir Anti Green deck. You can either go to YouTube or Stream Decker. It did quite well. Uh, 
All right, so Drawn from Dreams is a is a two for one that also gives them a whole lot of selection and everything. I'm going to just get that out of there. What do I think of the mana base? The mana base has worked pretty well. Yeah, not not too many complaints at all. The focus put thoughtfulness before action. So you're saying, okay, it's not legal in Magic, but Arena as a client sees it as the same. Gotcha. Keep an open mind. Ugh. I don't think I really need to just play Teferi and get them closer to being able to, you know, like they play her cleansing away my two planeswalkers kind of thing. I'm going to just scry with Castle here. <laughs> yeah, hold, holding up well to the control grind, yeah. Holding up just fine. So I guess, so this is the, the side that's more bright. When y'all are telling me I'm like the killers, I have to look for the bright side to know which way they're, which thing they're actually casting. I guess that's a little bit more bright. They could make it more obvious though. I do not want to play Ugin before Chandra. I do not want Ugin to kill Chandra. Stop. That's fine. Right on schedule. Here goes nothing. Play BioS and Hydra Teamer in the future? Yeah. Um, I was actually thinking about, I was actually looking at uh, at that earlier today when I was like, you know, thinking about what to play today. Um, the hard part with BioS and Hydra Teamer is cutting it down to 60 cards, honestly. There's like a lot more than 60 cards I want to play. Um... But yeah, good chance I'll play that tomorrow. Hey, Plumber. No, no Soul Tide Control today. Um, long story. But no, we, we ended up going straight to the donation decks. Back. 
That's more like it. You're gonna be sorry when I come back. Meditate and prepare. Hmm. It's probably worth it to pay two life to scry two. And could there be anything to food plus bolus citadel? Absolutely. Honestly, the the, the trail of crumbs soul tie food deck that I play that I, that I built, you know, like a couple of days ago that I've been playing. Honestly, that could be a good Bola Citadel deck. Oko only costs three life. It's not very much life. My prowess is unmatched by my people. Hone your prowess. Answers to Oko? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's true. You like I'd be playing like Oh, I guess I have that emblem. I kinda forgot about that emblem when I just shocked a little bit ago. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I was not prepared for this. Um just be playing haste creatures with spellbreaker and questing beast basically cyborg card for rakdos oven versus selesnya adventure i mean do you have all the noxious grasps you can that's that's a good one if not legion's end yeah legion's end gets a lot of stuff all right so that's that's casting the one four Yeah, Do Dovin should be able to help us gain a lot of life. I just need to be able to cast it. I'll protect you. And have mana still available. Did I just not? I just did not castle there, did I? So, I, did I have the, no, I didn't have the mana to castle anymore. Never mind. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could play Ugin. It lets them resolve their Ugin. But they can't kill my Ugin with Ugin. That's Ugin impossible. Ugin possible. Hmm. Such violence is upsetting. So yeah, I'd prefer to have two more lands, be able to play Dovin and still have Sinister Sabotage. Ooh, let's cry. That's good too, though. Um... Nah, I'm good on cards. Here we go. That's a bunch of good stuff. Ugh, 
Basically, taking the Teferi means they only get a single spell. Don't make another move. Alright, so we're gonna go Ugin, tick up. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Secrets manifest before you. This might be a bad idea. Because Ugin cannot kill Ugin. I can kill my Teferi, though. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be playing Sultai Control. Um... Basically, it was like a, a, a time thing. As well as, um, I was going to be playing in ranked, but then we got, uh, with the Demir deck doing so well, we ranked up really high. And so the, the rankings reset tomorrow, and so I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. Oh, mass manipulation is annoying. What know you of dragons? <laughs> Magnificent! I am only human. Looking for a counter spell, of course. We did not find it. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Well, that's more like it. The, yeah, the CMC of the adventure creatures are the the, the same CMC on the right-hand side like, of the creature. That didn't go according to plan. I, I can create. Dovin. Man, Dovin's so good with Command the Dread Horde, getting that extra life. <laughs> yeah, Othakai is doing a great job keeping us alive as well. The Chandra Emblem just doesn't matter, basically. Okay. So 
I got 30 cards. That's good. Not too worried about milling out. So I could take... Ether itself serves me. Chandra plus Narset plus Teferi is 12 life. Fourteen for Fay of Wishes. Sure. Uh, this is pretty good. Now I can just have my 1-4 block there, 1-4, just fine. No <laughs> and of course I'm going to draw step, Thought Erasure. I am not making this up as I go. I have just the trick for this. <laughs> Super friends activated. Sasori! Thank you so much for the tier one sub there, Sasori. I appreciate that. Sub number 24. Let's see if we get some hype bets in here. If it allows me to. There we go. Yeah, it's a, that's a fair magic card, right? Command the Dread Horde. Totally fair. Yeah, it was lagging there. Whenever it gets like a really late game like this, And tons of game objects everywhere. It'll lag. It happens. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reset Arena, though. After that long match. Thanks, Shaka. Yeah, those are some good games there. GG's. <laughs> Arena got turned into a 3 3 lagging elk. No. Oko's even getting rid of Arena. I am glad though their their last state of the program update that they talked about um, performance issues being a, a big deal that they're going to be working on in the coming months, trying to make them a lot better, trying to make it a lot better. Hello. Well, that's not good. I already ha So I have Noxious Grasp looking like a dead card now, and we don't have blue mana for our other cards. And person playing turn two discovery probably doesn't care about Kaya's Wrath that much. Never mind. I guess Kaiser at does something. That's good.
This is a huge problem for me. Quasi duplicate, Blood for Bones are both awesome cards here. Oh, my opponent had all the islands. I just have this one lonely island over here. They didn't take Noxious Grasp? So we need to draw another Wrath. Good news is we have five Wraths in the deck. We've already played one, though, so there's four more. Kaya, we need your Wrath. We need your wrath for the birdies. <laughs> Baloney ponies on a boat. Yep, sure is, Jack. I haven't talked about the Theros leaks. I didn't really pay attention to them. Gross. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Randra. Randra, am. I'm not dead yet. I'm here right now. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, we got to elk the mystic first and then grasp it. So if they do it on, on my creature, and they just milled over four lands, that worked out pretty well. If they do it on my creature, they still get their 4-4. Four, four. They just don't gain four life if I Noxious Grasp my own creature. Yeah, Murmur Mystic's awesome. I'm not going to play Legion's End. It's so like Disenchant, Legion's End, Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell. None of those are cards that I possibly want. And we could go Ashiok. Because of the flashback spells. The Jumpstart. But I don't think that's really worth it. So this is 661 right here. Othakaya kills Thief of Sanity, which I think is going to be pretty important. Um, Dispark, 
you know, gets rid of Murmuring Mystic, but I think we got a lot of other stuff for Murmuring Mystic. I'm not sure what card I want to cut. Kind of thinking the Lockmere Serpent. Yeah, I'm going to cut the Serpent. I could be wrong. I could, I could, I mean, I feel like the games we're going to win, this, the Serpent isn't going to help. Like, the Serpent's going to win games that we're already going to win kind of thing for this matchup. I, I could be wrong there. Hey, there you go, RVM. All right, McCowan, I hope you get your hype boats out for everybody now. Thank you so much there, Santa Wizard, gifting McCowan the sub. Let's keep. Let's keep. Yeah, this is just a different version of Esper that's not a Doom Foretold deck. This is just a a tradition, a more traditional Esper control deck. We're doing a lot of damage to ourselves with this shocking mana base. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. My prowess does not keep an open mind. There are so hone your prowess. This might be a bad idea. Meditate. Hey, what's up, Zedalam? Ashiok, huh? I wonder what you are dead. Oh, no. <laughs> Such you will be haunted. Well, that's that's really bad. Them exiling. Uh... Put thoughtfulness before action. Don't worry, I got this. Oh no, I didn't have Ah. Didn't have the upkeeps stop set. Hey, Womb Scrambler. Thanks, Scrambler. Thanks for the tier two sub. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I leave. I aspire for more. All right, so Dovin's not really drawing us extra cards because of the Nar sets. Like that discovery is not drawing my opponent a card either. So if they cast Ugin, I'll veto it. If they don't, I'll have I just gotta veto that. 
So I was gonna have a 1-1 one -one being made. Uh, I don't I don't do anything special to, to keep track of my paper collection, honestly. That's a great draw. My mind needs a rest. Here we go. I aspire for more. Okay, just the one Ugin's gone, so we still have an Ugin. No, I should keep sabotage up. I've got it. Yeah, this is likely the the last league for today. I'm gonna be doing a twelve hour stream tomorrow and this league isn't we're not too close to finishing this up. <laughs> I've got time. I wish I had like a Jason here or something. I mean, I guess I, I have this Realm Cloak Giant that I can just play as a 7-7. Seven, seven. That I guess the 7-7 seven, seven ends the game pretty quickly. Well, Fortress Crab's a 1-5. Dovin's not... Dovin's a good card. With that life gain and card draw. Pretty nice. Um, hey, Mr. Allen. Getting the gifted sub. There you go. Thank you so much there, Paul. Um, Let's try this. I just don't really want. I don't really want the Realm Cloak Giant to die. I wanted to draw another card, see if we found any more like counter magic or anything. Yeah, they're gonna be putting that blast zone on three, so getting the Othakai out of there isn't a bad choice. an odd decision. Because they now have this Othakaya that just can kill the Dream Eater. I guess they... I guess they want me to do this. I'm going to be watching the World Series after the stream. Don't don't update the score. You know, I have a re recording and stuff. I'll start it from the beginning. But yeah, that's, that's the other thing. I wanted to, to be able to do that tonight. Uh, 
as well. So even if it's a little bit shorter stream. No, I'm probably rooting for the Nationals. I suppose that's how it was meant. Overwhelming. I'm I'm a Rangers fan, so I guess Houston's also from Texas, but Houston's kind of like the the Rangers rifle. done the hero thing before arena stop all right so we never tapped to this castle i guess with those auto taps which means that i don't get to have tyrant scorn available as well oh i meant to do draw step i didn't let them draw I don't really want to surveil anything to the graveyard with us not having a whole lot of cards there. Let's see, could have picked could have picked that up if I would have spent the time to manually tap the castle. I did not though. All right, so this game's over. We're going to Dovin. I've never Dovin ultimated. So we're going to be able to Dovin ultimate for the win here. If y'all haven't seen this before. So we're going to play like like this thing is just going to be a 7-7, seven, seven, right? It's going to chill. It's going to help kill them next turn. And then we're going to go minus 9. Tap all permanents target opponent controls. They skip their next untap step. So now... They don't untap. Uh, I don't know. You do whatever. That's you do whatever. Like sure. All right. So now they don't get to untap. And there we go. Yeah, that was just game two, wasn't it? So. So we saw more counter magic from them. Blast zone. Dream Eater. Still have a whole bunch of quasi duplicates in their deck. Ashiok. That was the card. I knew there was some card that I saw that I was supposed to be scared of. Ashiok. That card. Yeah, I could definitely do Sultai Hydra also. I mean, Sultai is just is the best color combination for sure right now. So I guess with, with Ashiok, that means we need more wind cons. So maybe we get the Serpent and Command in here. And they were playing Narset. Also, I don't know if they go crazy with Murmuring Mystic. We kind of need Kai's Wrath, though. Yeah, Architect of the Law is pretty good. I 
Yeah, how many people can say that they've ulted Dovin Architect of Law? Probably in standard. Probably not very many people. So this is, yay. So it's kind of risky. So if they have like counter magic here into, if they have counter spell into the Thief of Sanity, then we're in trouble. Like that's, that's the perfect start that they needed. Please no Thief of Sanity. Oh no, they had it. That was the trouble of keeping the sabotage is that is keeping sabotage here did not stop. Counter spell into Thief of Sanity. They could have had basically they could have had a counter or discard. One of those two for my thought erasure plus thief. All right, so pretty sure my opponent just has a land over here on my side. I think they just hit three lands because of how they, they said nice afterwards after putting two lands in the graveyard. Perfect. All right, you come to play untapped, right? Yes. Out well. Do not defy the desire. This I can create or destroy. Okay, they got two cards left plus my two. One of which, one of which we know is a spell that's better than Kaya's Wrath. They took something over Kaya's Wrath, and then the other one could be a land. <laughs> okay, I'd have to say that was better than Kaya's Wrath. Dueling two threes. I will be very happy just to increase both of our life totals by two. I would, I would if you, if you like, I will happily. Uh, that one's kind of tough. Happily continue to increase our life totals. That card's just perfect.
I could wait to see if they target the, like, you know, with quasi-duplicate, target the card. But I'll just pick it up. So now, do I want to ditch one of these two things to Chemister's Inside, or do I want to act activate Castle? We'll go Castle. Just all removal for us over here. Giving them targets for their Noxious Grasp. You like dump an Elder Spell for cards? Elder Spell's still pretty valuable. By valuable, I mean useful. Or valuable, I know, either one. Yeah, so these sleeves aren't in the store anymore. Unfortunate. Ooh, saying no to Ashiok. Overrun him with one ones. I'm doing this main phase so if we still draw a land, I can still play it and still have Castle up. Sure. I'm not sure exactly why they would just like have the sleeves like leave the store. Cause now you know now people like new people that get their accounts like can't can't purchase them like it, I feel like it would be better for them money wise to allow people to to have have products for people to purchase especially like products that you've already made and already installed and everything not exactly sure the benefits. Of not allowing people to purchase your products. I concede. If they made like a huge deal of it, of like, hey, this is a limited time thing that you have to buy it for and until like this date, get them while you can, and all that kind of stuff, and try to and you know try to create scarcity. Or I don't know if that's if scarcity is the right word, but create urgency. I can understand that, but they, they never did that. They're just they're just kind of gone. With nobody knowing why or or anything. They're just gone. Like the wind. You got, yeah, so by, somebody says, you know, like, by pulling the product, you create demand, but don't you kind of have to tell people that you're pulling the product? Like, don't you have to kind of inform people that this product's going to be gone? And not it just suddenly be gone? Yeah, same thing with avatars and stuff like that, yeah. I guess for, like, products that they're releasing now, they they just could be gone at any point, so... You know, that does...
like for for new products just know that they could be gone at any point so if you want to purchase them you know you need to kind of purchase them quickly because who knows whenever they'll be gone So I guess it creates demand for for future for the the generated scarcity there. So to cast this Realm Club Giant, they do need white mana now. So they're not going to be able to cast that card. <laughs> yeah, land win con is is awesome. It's really good. So if they flash in the seven seven. Later on, we'll have the uh, get to hold on to the instant speed removal for the flashed in seven seven. No, I ha no, I haven't made a best of three list for the Sultai adventure. It would, it would definitely have to change a lot, or not necessarily a lot. But you'd have to use at least like like because you know like with best of three, you actually want like real sideboard cards. Where in best of one you get you get the luxury of just filling up your entire sideboard with nonsense for uh, Fay of Wishes. So that's like the the main thing. And honestly, like that that deck, just like every other deck, is probably better with Oko than without Oko. And future are bound by threads. So my little pony sleeves are available till Monday, mind. huh? These cards are pretty good. I'm not gonna grab Teferi because they have the Noxious Grasp. Um I think I'm gonna get this Thought Erasure. So, you know they have to do that they have to do this ability during their turn I'm gonna just Kai's wrath here the most effective decks with artifacts. 
Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making one tomorrow. Like I have the the Demir. Why do I keep this Fable Passage? I'm not sure. Oh, because I didn't want to put it in the graveyard and give them more gas, but I'm just doing that anyway. All right, we did just put a, a good amount of good cards down at the bottom. <clears throat> I had, sorry, I had the Demir Affinity deck previously. Then I need to update that now after the banning. All right, so Ashiok is three. So I go Thief, Thief, Ashiok. That's nine. That puts me down to seven still. I think I'm just going to do that. I was thinking about changing, you know, making that soul tie like always and, and putting in Oko to help with the artifact stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, it's Steel Overseer, Mystic Forge, a whole bunch of artifacts. So yeah, that's what, so my plan is to play that tomorrow. So this should mill my opponent out pretty quickly with double thief trigger and Ashiok. That's 10 cards right there. They also have three life, which is admittedly that's not very much life. So Command the Dead Horde should win this for us. Eighteen cards still, it should be enough. GG's. Three no. See, we could. These next two games could definitely take an hour. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep resetting. The Demir Anti Green deck was awesome. Yeah, there you can find the the link in there. But yeah, it's Noxious Grasp, Ether Gust. Get all those in the main deck. That deck was a lot of fun.
Okay. Okay, you're, oh, you're going with the... Um, what are the tribal? There you go, tribal decks. Yeah, tribal decks are a lot of fun. All right, looks like we're playing. Oh, that card does not cast Kaya's Wrath. I was thinking that we need lands. But that one does not cast Kaya's Wrath. That is... It's not really, like, the the worst land, though, because, you know, it's, it's an untapped land. My question, why do you think Wizards is waiting to ban Oko? Because tournament organizers are pulling support for Standard. They're, they're in a tough spot. I think it's I think it's best just to wait... Like there's there's just a, a mythic championship that's coming up and everything. I think it's it's probably best just to wait, and um, wait until the scheduled BNR announcement on the November 18th to do something. That's probably the best, honestly. Black mana, yay. GG. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Here goes nothing. So I could grasp the bird. But it just doesn't use my mana too well. I kind of want to cast Chemister's Insight here. Give them a turn with the bird. Alright, maybe that doesn't work out for me. Okay, there we go. That's good. Those blind to tyranny are not. Just it's not poison. Okay, so I, let's see. So we grasp you. This is my cue to exit. Destroy you. Bounce that thing. No, I am not making this up as I go. Cool. This isn't a fight you can win. Trust me, I have a plan. If they play anything I can sabotage. I can't sabotage it. What? What is that? What was that auto tap? I didn't even really pay attention. I guess I have veto. Basically, I was gonna end step thought erasure if they don't play anything. Hmm, we got a bunch of Noxious Grasps over there. A little surprised they didn't just Noxious Grasp my Teferi, to be honest. It's either Krasis that draws an extra card. You know, it's Krasis or one of these things. I don't think it's N uh, Nissa is kind of annoying. I take Vasco. Sure. All right, so we'll get the extra grasp. <sighs> Ooh, 
Ripper, what do you usually do against Soltai? Narset, Elder Spell, Veto, Command the Dread Horde are all reasonable. But this is the kind of thing that there's there's not there's not really bad cards because like it all depends on like how like what my opponent has how how cards line up and everything. I kind of think Command the Dread Horde is probably pretty good. Let's get let's play that. Don't want Serpent. Give me Command of the Dread Horde instead. I'm going to take out an Othakaya. It doesn't necessarily kill a whole lot of stuff. The things that it kills, we have Wraths for. Um, we need this to Spark for the Wicked Wolf. I'm going to kind of trim on counter spells a little bit. Now we have we have like all the wrath effects for for geese. Don't think we need the legion's ends. Yep. Yeah, it's it's just like hope you know, like we have a lot of very good cards. We're just kind of hoping that they line up against our opponent's cards. You know, like that's that's the kind of thing with this this type of matchup. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. With going second, like the three mana counter spells could maybe be a little tough. It's a land drop I don't have to shock in for. Taking so much damage. All these shock lands, all these murderous riders. Three lands? That was a terrible turn for me.
Hoping this works. Well, that's unfortunate. When they don't have very much left or anything, really. It's not good. All right, well, we need to draw a wrath. It's not a wrath. So many lands. Dang. I guess Legion's End does get rid of Krasis. Probably should have brought in Command on the, on the play here, not on the draw. Let's get rid of these insights, actually. Let's play Narset instead. I'm thinking either Sabotage, Legion's End, Command... Probably one of those three. I think I like Scorn more than Legion's End. I think it has just more utility overall. <laughs> Your daughter's the reason why you bought the My Little Pony sleeves, but you don't actually mind them. Yeah, like they're... Yeah, now that you have them, might as well use them. Um, Elder Spell is probably better on the draw. It's a removal spell that helps catch you up whenever you're behind. That's probably... so. Therefore, I think that's a card that's better on the draw than on the play. As we saw the last game, two life can make the difference. Looks like my opponent is... Kind of playing slowly, waiting for Legion's End to do stuff. Or, not Legion's End, uh, Veil of Summer. But maybe not.
It's a good draw of the castle there to give us something to do. While my opponent's waiting to be able to have Veil of Summer protection. Or not. I will protect the virtue of this world. Fight on without me. Behold, nature's true power. So they want to veil some of this, it taps their creature. I'm not sure why I'm playing a 7 mana 3 3. Wow, it's not a 3 3. Land, we are all connected. Rise, my elemental friend. Block. Yeah, but I want to do the attack first so that they block with the creature. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, three Nissas. I don't I don't really mind though. Nissa is something that's pretty easy for us to deal with in this kind of deck. Nissa is not great against sweeper decks. I mean it it kind of is cuz it gives you recursive threat, you know, it gives you like 3 threes every turn. But also, if they destroy all your lands, that's kind of bad, too. It kind of seemed like my opponent had, like, each time that, like, they had another Veil of Summer. But they couldn't, they couldn't, like, play Nissa and hold up Veil of Summer without, and, you know, chump block the 7-7. Seven, seven. You know, like, the 7-7 seven, seven just... Kind of wrecked their plan. Okay. Let's go for our final boss. That's right, it's final boss time. We're 4 0. Final boss time. Somebody told me Veil of Summers is $6 due to Noxious being so prevalent. It's de it's definitely not that's not why Veil of Summers is $6. It would be because it's, it's you know a summer core set. Core sets don't don't usually get open as much, but Veil of Summer is just such a good card that it's in sideboards in every format imaginable, you know, like Modern Legacy, like any like green decks just want Veil of Summer. It's just it's there's nothing that does its job better, you know, one mana, you draw a card. It's it's just amazing. So it's just a, a card that every, basically every deck at all wants. And so that's why it's $6, because it's just in super high demand. It, and Noxious Grasp doesn't affect it at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's green cryptic command for one mana. Hero Shook. Welcome back. Half a year. Thanks for the resub there, Hero Shook. Thank you so much there, sub number 28. For those of y'all asking, what does this Dovin do? There you go. That's a bad draw. That Lockmere Serpent. Final boss. Final boss. Yeah, to, it's very similar to Teferi. Teferi untaps two lands. With Dovin, you gain two life. So, you know, pretty similar. Well, yeah, this was like a Planeswalker deck, Planeswalker. This wasn't designed even to be played in standard, but I think it's good enough. It's so there's there's just not a better option for repeatable card draw. Like there's Jace, but Jace is just too hard to cast for this deck. Yeah, Liliana. Yeah. Liliana could be an option instead of Serpent and Dovin. Could could be playing Liliana's instead. Um, that that was something that to to kind of see while we were playing these. But I haven't I haven't been too upset with either of these these cards yet. I've been liking them. Like a control deck like this, like Dovin, like that extra two life over time can be valuable for sure in a control deck like this. Yeah, there's there's already two Ugans in the deck. <laughs> yes, there's two Ugans in the deck already. And then so there's there's four six drops. Instead of playing two Liliana, trying these. I'm I'm not convinced at all that that this card's better than Liliana. I'm not convinced of that in the slightest. I like Dovin more than Lockmere Serpent myself. But I, I think Lily I think I think I, I would probably go with one Liliana Dovin into Mugens. Yeah, it's true. We do we do a lot of shocking, and so yeah, the the life gain with all the shocking that we do is pretty nice. Has one quest. It is a 7 7 with flash. And there is certainly. Sorry, That's... I'm late. 
that certainly means that it has a it has a high floor. You know, like that's that's a seven seven with flash at the very worst. Like that's that's a pretty good floor. See, y'all were like, why are we only playing three decks today? But I was telling y'all that these decks are going to take a while because, you know, streaming from three to ten, it's already a little after 9.30, <laughs> and we're in the, the third deck here. These games just take a while. So we've played, we've been streaming for six and a half hours, played four, eight, twelve, we've played 12, ga 12 matches in six and a half hours, you know, close to half an hour per match. Yeah, this is Ripper's deck. I've got it. Hmm. So it's basically, so I'm doing this, it's either Chemist's Insight or play the Murderous Rider. So Gideon and Questing Beast are both annoying. Hmm. Took the wrong one. Defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you. Time for plan B. As soon yeah, as that's I that's the plan is just is be able to like Don't worry. block this, I got this the Gideon with six six flash. Which deck plays better against Oko? Esper Control or Demir Anti Green? Demir Anti Green does. Yeah. That that deck is completely built for Oko. If you didn't, I yeah, check check it out on the YouTube channel. I play I play two games versus Oko there. Uh and you can kind of see how I sideboard and stuff if you want to see that. And everything. Your light will cleave the darkness. I mean, they're already indestructible. You're just putting a counter on them. Just wants the Flaxen Intruder to make sure to kill the Teferi. That didn't go according to plan. Bravery wasn't enough. Ah, that makes sense. I don't care if they block, because we have the Murderous Rider anyway. I wish I had one. I wish like that was an untapped land. And I could have played Dove in there also. That was already a great turn for us though.
Mm-hmm. Just gonna wait on this Kai's Wrath. We don't need to immediately. We got this one pretty good. So I do have the, enough for Thought Erasure plus Kai's Wrath plus Sabotage. Work. They're still going to make a 1 1 here. That's not too bad, though. Next slide, please. Yeah, sorry, he always goes through that those parts there. Does the does like the audio still play fine when that happens? Can y'all still hear like everything I'm saying? Okay, so the auto is just fine. So would it be better for you if, if I tried to um, go like play-by-play -play kind of thing? I don't know how well that would work, but... If, it, if I can tell that it, it goes through like a lag spike, I don't know what to, how to call it. If I should say what's happening, but it's, it's usually not much is the answer. I guess I should just be putting this back in my hand if I'm not using my mana. Okay, yeah, it's not severe enough to be that necessary, yeah. Yeah, Do yeah, Dovin's viable and standard. Yeah, like, Dovin's perfectly fine if you get to, you know, play it on, on an empty board like that. Keep taking up, draw your cards. So, you know, like, ticking up Liliana, you make a 2-2. Two -two. Most of our cards are worth more than a 2-2. The thing is, is, like, if those 2-2s two die while Liliana's in play, then, you know, you get to draw cards, and that's that's definitely valuable for sure. 
yeah, Dovin's Dovin's good. Final countdown. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get this extra noxious grasp in here. I think I want all the vetoes. I want no serpents. This is probably a Legion's End match also. This isn't really a Teferi match. Sinister Sabotage, actually. We don't really need Sinister Sabotage as much. All right. Um, is Teferi better than Chemistry's Insight? Eh. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go with this. Yeah, I would. Yeah, this list is probably more consistent than the Esper Dance one. So the reason why I want Dovin's Veto in this matchup is because March of the Multitudes is one of their scarier cards to begin with. But then all of their all these adventure cards, like that, you know, like we can we can veto all these adventure cards when they play them on the adventure side. And then, you know, like, they like they have a surprisingly high amount of spells, you know, like, because all these things, like, those are, like, these are all spells, like, in their deck. We saw, you know, Gideon, um, Unbreakable Formation. They, they actually have just a ton of spells. Impassioned Orator. This this deck doesn't need Impassioned Orator or Cruel Celebrant at all. Gideon, Ugh. If I bounce the token, they play they play the fairy godmother and, and still get to attack with the five five. This is a prime day for justice. Share in my light. Strength gave out. That's a rough one. I guess it's not too rough. Yeah, never mind. That's not rough at all. We got the rider that can deal with that.
I can no longer stand by and watch. Let's try this. Dovin, where you at? Eh, you're good. Not good. They didn't fall for it. I was hoping they were going to think that we were going to have Kaya's Wrath, and so they just block because they think that we have Kaya's Wrath. And I know the Kaya would have got him. Ow. So if I if I attack with Murderous Rider, go to five, and then they draw Questing Beast, I die. Because then my Realm Cloak Giant can only block, you know, like the Questing Beast, I take five. This keeps me alive through a Questing Beast still. Hey Hawkeye, are you gonna come help us on the final boss? Alright, should have attacked. <laughs> Need that life. Okay, we need this Dovin so we can gain two life a turn. If they ban Oko, what deck would you think would be the strongest? Honestly, I'm not... I don't know. That definitely opened things up quite a bit. risky going with the castle here because then if we if we go blank blank we die but if, if we have blank blank on top and I don't castle we're gonna die anyway so that's me dying. Yeah, banning Oko means that you get to play creatures again. That's a it's a huge like probably like elementals. Like that's that's a huge gain for Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorns, you know, your rock, like that that kind of stuff. Like elementals. Um, you know, they still, like, if it's just Oko, you know, like, Elemental still has Krasis, Nyssa, um, Once Upon a Time. It's probably just instead of, instead of Oko being the three mana card everywhere, you get Risen Reef being the three mana card. Hmm. 
So yeah, that that would be like my just off the top of my head take. All their cards are so good. Yeah, so I if I went temple, I would have had a shock in for watery grave. I basically just went watery grave swamp and then knew it, knowing that I was going to go temple on three with another thought erasure here. I guess I get no value out of this temple now, though. Gross. Although they weren't going to cast a flower there for a minute. Scry bottom. Get that 5-5 five, five out of here. Got Genova. Boss fight here. Some good boss music. I got more of those things. Yeah, Hushbringer definitely very good against elementals. The the thing is is stop. Exiling my two three. The thing is is like is there enough good white creatures to really let it see play? Game does not look good for us. I liked our chances before my 2 3 went away. Wow. Oh. 
Whoops. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. Kind of feel like Flourish is like the card that's going to kill me here. I could definitely have been wrong. We will meet again. Willing to admit that for sure. Basically just kind of buying myself a turn here to activate castle. So there's five sweepers in the deck. We've seen one so far. We've gone through 17 cards, but we know the bottom three aren't. So we've gone through 20 cards. So we've gone through a third of the deck, but we've only seen a fifth of the sweepers. So hopefully we can find another one of those sweepers here pretty soon. And they, they may have drawn unbreakable formation though. We've seen them have a good amount of unbreakable formations. I just gotta hope not. Yay. Oh, we've only seen one unbreakable formation, we've just seen it in different games. That is scary. I'm a little surprised they didn't just play the Fairy Guide Mother afterwards. Honestly, I'm a little surprised by that. Oh, could they not? Oh, they couldn't do token and guide mother. I kind of assumed they could. They had enough mana for both. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that's why. That's why they couldn't do both. Okay, makes sense.
So you just got here, saw they were playing Esper Control. Very nice. Yeah, we're you're getting here right at the end of the the stream. If we. Because if we win this game, this is the last game. If we lose, we play one more. Okay. Okay. Move away. Ugh, I can't. He really likes sitting right in front of that monitor. And I can't see the I can't see the monitor and sits right in front of it. I mean the only way this actually gets two cards Use that now. <laughs> if we lose, we play one more. That's how I keep playing MTG. <laughs> um, the reason why we lose if we play one more because we're in the league where you play until you win five or lose two, whatever happens first. And we're 4-0. I kind of feel like the sideboarding in the Devout Decrees is over sideboarding. The only thing that I have in my deck that it hits are the the two threes. I have three of the two threes. Uh, Arena. Froze up there for a second. So they've exiled one of the two threes, the Murderous Riders, so far. We've gone through 22 cards, but we also know the bottom five are all lands. Like we're doing a good job of stacking lands down to the bottom with the castle. They draw another guide mother, we die. So instant speed removal would be really nice. Oh. That is just like the perfect two cards. That is just like perfect. No, don't tap all my black mana. What are you doing? Tap this thing. Okay, there we go. This Rogue Club Giant's been really sweet. So if this was Liliana, we'd just be making a 2-2. But then if they would if they would draw the Fairy Guide Mother, I'd still be dead. But here we're we're drawing cards, which you know a Noxious Grass was more valuable than a 2-2, of course. So we're drawing cards and also gaining this life to help stabilize. So much life. All right, well, we'll Fable Passage. Fable Passage is a land that I'm just like never going to play. Because we know our bottom five cards are all lands. I don't, I don't want to shuffle those back. I think these are all lands. Yeah, and if it was Liliana, they would devout decree it. They're probably expecting Liliana at the top end.
I'll take those. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. Yeah, I was gonna bounce the realm cloak giant and I guess I've got time. I guess they could see that I could. Just bounce that thing. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the X, X Files music here. Yeah, I don't know. Our boss music is is also just like famous TV and movie themes. Like we just had the Jurassic Park one, and now X Files. We should have a button that plays a song whenever you encounter an opponent with an original deck. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, where's that victory fanfare? GG's, five wins, all this gold. Claim prize. As per control, worked good. Dovin was sweet. All right, so opinion on the list and sideboard. I, I think I liked. I think I liked what we had going on with the list. I didn't. I didn't love this. There was things I didn't. I don't know. It felt like. It felt like this. This deck. Hey, Doctor, 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 bringing those three three elks around. Thank you so much, there, Triple Doctor. Oh, that gets us one sub away from our third sub goal of the day. Almost there. So, okay, I think our list was about five-ish cards off. Um, Relf Clo Giant was awesome. I'm still not sold whatsoever on Lockmare Serpent. I'm still not sold on this card at all. I, I, I would play Liliana if it was me. I would play Liliana instead of this card. Um, I don't know if I love the Chemister's Insights or like, you know, three of them. Like the first one, the first one's usually okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't love the Chemister's Insights. I, th I think, I mean, honestly, honestly, I would play none of these and I would play Narsets instead. I, th I think that's what I, that's like the main thing that I want. I, th I think I don't want this card and I would want Narsets instead. And Narsets just awesome. Just an, just an awesome magic card. Hey, Papa Banks. No, I would not play Ethereal Absolution. I don't I don't think I think that card is not quite good enough. Um thirty out of thirty. So yeah, I would I would prefer Liliana over Lockmere Serpent. I would prefer Narset over Chemister's Insight. Even though like there were times the Chemistry's Insight help us hit a, helped us hit our land drops, and that was nice. But I still think that Nar Narset's just a more impactful card with everything that it does. Um, what are my thoughts of Absorb over Sinister Sabotage? I think I would prefer Sabotage. I think I like Surveil 1 over Gain 3. But that is a good call that, like... Maybe the first... Because that, that game three, like there's there's definitely games like where that game three is critical. The game three life it can be critical at times. I could I kinda like I kinda like playing the first absorb instead of the third sabotage. I kinda like switching it up like that. The the other thing is I guess we're we are playing, you know, like the the absorb is harder to cast. That's also a thing. Stop. Yeah, I know Narset cannot grab Murderous Rider or Realm Cloak Giant. But it's still just an awesome card. Like, keeping your opponent from being able to draw multiple cards is just good against so many people. It's just a great card. I 
I mean, if you want to play, um, if you want to play like one chemist's inside and two Narset, you can definitely do that also. You know, if you if you want to do that, and like the first, you know, because the first inside is nice, helping you get your land drops to like these six mana cards and stuff. Like that's that's pretty nice. Like that's I like that. I like that. Get like one inside in there. Um, yeah, no, we played Ugin a good amount um, earlier on. Yeah, Ugin Ugin's awesome. Ugin's awesome. All right, sideboard. Um, I do kind of feel like Unmoored Ego is maybe better than Ashiok right now. There's not really graveyard decks too much. Like the only one is like Esper like Dance, but you can just also Ego Dance. But then having Ego for the Fires of Invention decks, especially how Ripper, how you're saying that you think the Fires of Invention is a tough matchup, having this, I think would would go a, go um, a longer way for you there. I don't like Disenchant at all. I wouldn't play Disenchant whatsoever. I don't. I don't think that's really a, a card that you need at all. Um, I do like Dispark quite a bit. I'd want a second Dispark again. If you want, if you want something for Fires of Invention, I'd, I'd rather have Dispark. Um, I know Disenchant kills Cavalcade. I, I don't think you need to play it though. I I don't think you need to play something to kill Cavalcade. Okay, so we got we got some extra sideboard slots now. Fires and Golgari Adventure have been your hardest matchups. Yeah, Golgari Adventure. Yeah, that that one's tough. That Golgari Adventure is built to beat control for sure. Um <clears throat> All right, I would go with a third Legion's End in here. And honestly, I'd probably just play like a Legion's End in the main. Instead of a Tyrant Scorn. Tyrant Scorn wasn't bad. There's nothing wrong with Tyrant Scorn. We got to do some cool stuff with it. Um, maybe, maybe we'll just keep it in the board. But Legion's End is awesome against Golgari Adventures for sure. Because, you know, like exiling the 1-1 one, one so they don't get to get it back. That's critical. Should probably have one main over a Scorn. I'm not sure. I like Scorn. I like instant speed stuff. Okay, and then... Uh, how about Cry of the Carnarium? Yeah. Cry's pretty good against against the Golgari Adventures. Gets rid of the 2-2 and everything, too. I could see... And it's it's great against the cat, you know. If you ever play against um, witches oven cat stuff, no, I Dispark is better than than Epic Downfall. <sighs> no, like yeah, if you want something for Wicked Wolf, like we're playing Dispark, like that's better. Um, I could see just playing one one Cry of the Carnarium. there and then we get it we have a couple more sideboard slots that are free now sorry okay yeah you're never catching the cat out of the oven out of sorcery speed well you, you know if they if they sacrifice in response to the cry of the carnarium it still gets exiled because it go, still goes to the graveyard and, and gets exiled they can't you can't save the cat, whether it's in play um, or not. Yep, yep, Ranger. Best of one day is on Monday. It's like this. This gets rid of the cat because it says if a cre you know exile all creatures cards that are put in there from the battlefield this turn. Yeah, cry of the Carnarium. and also just then later on if a creature would die this turn exile instead it exiles everything that died this turn at all so this this is great against against um cauldron familiar which is oven yeah bell haunt's not bad against aggro no i don't i don't really i don't really reload the changes back to stream decker um because i want to use like i use like i just post the deck list that we used in the video 
in for like the deck list in the video, but at the end of the videos, you know, I, I sometimes change some stuff up like this. Um, so I guess, so, you know, like if, if you'd like to, yeah, I basically, I basically just don't make a new stream decker. Um, so yeah, we got, you got two more sideboard slots that you can kind of play around with. Um, I, I like, I wouldn't hate a third Narset. I wouldn't hate, <clears throat> there's a lot of cards I don't, I wouldn't mind. So if we want something for fires of, of invention, it could be a third on Mordigo here. Um, I do like having that one Crowther Carnarium because I felt like I didn't have quite enough, like, against, like, the aggro decks. I wouldn't mind, like, Devout Decree. Like, there's, so, like, Unmoored Ego, Devout Decree, um, Narset. Um, these are probably the cards that, that I'm thinking about playing here. Um, the most. Ether Gust. Ether Gust is honestly good. Ether Gust is good against Fires of Invention also. And, you know, gives you something else against the green decks. Kind of have two two free sideboard slots there. Yeah, Mortify just destroys enchantments. Could play a couple Mystical Disputes. Negates, Duress. Disfigure is good against aggro. Basically, there's just a lot of a lot of options. So like, it's kind of pick and pick and fill what you want. You know, duress. I, I would probably go with. Let's see. We already got three. We got three veto. Maybe a couple duress. Um. We have two elder spells already. Maybe, yeah, so maybe more for, like, other control matchups. So, like, maybe, like, a one Duress, one Mystical Dispute. Hmm. Actually, I don't really love Mystical Dispute in this kind of deck because the games go really lo long, and then it's it's not a counterspell later. We already got Veto. Let's kind of pick, pick what you want. I, actually, I think I'd want another Planeswalker over here, so probably a, like a Narset. Or one of these things. No, probably a Narset. Or an Ashiok. You know, if you want, if you do want Ashioks, you got two slots for Ashioks there. If you want a third on Mordigo, you can go that there, too. A lot of, just a lot of cards you can play, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Tech needs flying at Gravedigger. Yeah, Thief of Sanity can, can be an option also there. <clears throat> Grixis fires tends to be the most annoying. Well, give this a try. You know, like Dispark certainly should help out there. And yeah, Duress and Narset gives you two more good cards um, there. And of course, you can have Ego also. Okay, so, okay, yeah, the Grixis Knights deck. Um, yeah, Jake Rilla, see. You say in best of one with the Grixis Knight deck, you're around 70, 80% win win rate. That is awesome. Yeah, good job. We played it the other day and went what, like six and two with it? Yeah, Grixis Knights. If you like really if you like aggressive best of one decks, uh, and you like playing Grixis, check out the Grixis Knights um, over on the YouTube channel. That one's a really good one for sure. Um, but that's it. That's that's what we got here for Esper Control. I think the I think these would be the changes I'd recommend here, Ripper. Um I think this this is what I'd probably go with, like the one duress, the one narset. I do like that cry of the carnarium and everything like that. Uh mana base I think worked out pretty well. I think I don't think we'd really necessarily need to change anything there. I liked all the castles. Like each each castle was nice having. I liked it. Oh yeah, I definitely liked playing the deck. It was fun here. Um anyway. That's it here for Esper Control. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave a comment, do both those things. I would appreciate those. But thanks so much for watching Esper Control, and I'll see you for the next video.